Hi everyone, this is Imran and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back again with another new video and in this video training, I'm gonna show you a stunning slider add-on for Elementor and the add-on is Prime Slider add-on for Elementor. Okay, using this slider, you can create this beautiful slider on your website. I selected this slider add-on because it will create everything for you. Just you will have to replace your content okay so you see nice menu and the logo social media icons etc everything will be done with this add-on okay let's get to be started here i'm on the dashboard of my site firstly you can see i have installed elementor page builder and i'm going to look for the add-on just click on add new and here you are gonna search for prime slider hit enter and here it is prime slider by bd themes just hit install now button hit activate okay just skip this part welcome okay here you can see based on elementor page builder and make sure you have already installed Elementor page builder in your website. Otherwise, this plugin, this add-on won't work. So now I'm gonna go to the all pages. And here you can see my home page. And I'm going to click on edit. And here you can see this big button, edit with Elementor. Just click on it and it will bring me to this interface. I believe you are familiar with Elementor Page Builder interface. I'm going to collapse it. Just collapse it. And here goes Prime Slider. Okay. And using this add on, you can create several kinds of sliders. But in this training, I'm just going to show you how you can create the general slider. Okay. Before you click on it or drag and drop it. I have to create a section from here. Just click on the plus sign. Here you can see on column row. Just click on it. And here you can see I have got a row. Now again, I'm gonna get here. And here you can see prime slider. I'm just going to left click on it and drag and drop here. Yes, and instantly it creates a slider, but something wrong. Here goes the white gap, here goes the white gap, but you can easily solve it. Just going to the setting over here and here you can see page layout. Select it to element or canvas or element or full width. Just that suits your needs. Just going to click on element or canvas. Just click on here to edit the section. Just click here. And here you can see the section is boxed. So I'm going to make it full width, full width section, right? Now it's fine. Hit update. Okay. My problem was in the section setting, the layout will be full width. So, friends, here you can see I created the slider just very quickly. Come over here, just from under prime slider, I selected this general and drag and drop. Okay. So here you can see I have got the logo, the menu, subtitle, title and a button, text, dot. And here goes the navigation. And you can also scroll down. Fantastic. Okay. Now it's time to add our content. We don't like the default content so what you will have to do just here on the right top you can see the pencil icon just click on it and it will open up edit general and under content you can see layout headers sliders social icons scroll down everything you need okay say for example you don't need this header menu or brand what you will have to do just come over here 
on the header you can manage from here or just from the layout you can just disable the logo okay disable the menu they are gone show up canvas it's gone it's pretty simple okay so let's start from the beginning first here you can see screen the default is fine but you can choose slide you can choose clearly you can see meter whatever you like but i preferred the default on and next it's the width here you can see 16 is to 9 is the aspect ratio or slider ratio here you can put the value you want say for example 1920 by 1080 then hit apply okay it will resize automatically and you can set the minimum height from here and if you don't like the title thus you can disable it you don't like the subtitle you don't like the button you can disable it you can disable the excerpt okay but it's self-explanatory pretty simple so here goes it in the general setting under layout let's go to the header here you can see logo it's a text based logo you know brand but if you would like to add any logo from your gallery i'm so sorry i don't have any logo that's my mistake but you can add it and you can manage the logo size again go to the logo text say for example key code so you can change it and enable sticky you can make it sticky pretty simple and you can add custom link to this logo text very fantastic and in case of this menu just tap to the next one here you can see the menu item if you would like to add something new just type and here you can see it shows up here products and if you would like to add dynamic menu dynamic menu means the menu you already have created say for example this menu so what you will have to do just enable it and select the menu say for example i have main menu and you can show that here it is okay let me show you here you can see go to the menus it means this menu you have created you can also show your dynamic menu okay and off canvas here goes the off canvas if i click over here you can add something here okay perfect and the next is slider here you can see three items slider on and you can just change the title build modern website so it's pretty simple pretty easy to change the title and you can add title link button uh, okay what should be the button text just free download okay here goes it free download and you can add link to the button i'm gonna link this okay i'm gonna link here and the text you can add your own text here okay i'm gonna get some text from it shows up here so it's pretty easy and what's next background color you can change the background color slide item on here it is i have changed the background color but you might want to add any video from youtube your own video or image you can do that okay i'm gonna add some images just click on here click on here select files from the hard disk i'm going to add this images okay this image or this one 
here it is it's fine from here you can select the image size okay and image settings position attachment fixed repeat no repeat size cover pretty awesome and everything with the free on free version and social media icon here goes the facebook twitter instagram and if you would like to add youtube i like youtube because i got many things from youtube so youtube and the icon change the icon youtube where is youtube here it is insert youtube and here goes okay fine and scroll down animation okay so friends interestingly you can add kin barn animation to your slide here it is this animation kin barn animation and you can also reverse the kin barn wow i just really impressed and i would like to thank the developers of this add-on they have done an outstanding job brilliant job okay so uh, i think you could now change all the settings of the another slides and let's see the style under the style you can add background color of your own I like this and you can change color for logo color for menu color for off canvas what's not okay hit update go for slides you can add background overlay Okay, just go to the image and make the color transparent so you can see from the back okay transparent color and title width title width increase the title width okay here it is build modern website you can change settings for the social icons you scroll down navigation i'm sorry i could not show you everything but you know everything is pretty simple i hope you will be able to do all of this yourself okay so i would like to keep the video very short so that you don't get bored and i hope that's all and using this method i showed you you can easily create and display a slider on your WordPress website using Prime Slider if you have Elementor Page Builder installed on your website. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you again with a new video. Thank you.